Hey, partner. Are you having troubles with erectile del taco? Well, I can't help much there. But I'll tell you what I can do is I can show you how to make a campfire. We're gonna make a campfire from scratch. All right. So here we have our fire pit. Didn't have to build a fire pit this time because the beautiful campsite that we're at tonight had a camp fire pit included, built out of iron. And it even comes with a grill. Yeah, throw it on. Grill your stuff, take it off. I'm gonna take it off so we can start the fire. All right, nice folks here. Maybe the campers before us already have a pile. Sometimes this will happen to you when you arrive at a campsite. This is awesome. This makes me want to do this kind of thing sometime, you know? This is what I'm talking about. You don't need any paper, you don't need any gasoline, lighter fluid. See what we got here? Check it out. We got all kinds of materials in this pile. If you want to take a closer look, usually when you want to start a fire, you want dry stuff, okay? This is all dry. We're in Arizona. Hello, it hasn't rained here for like probably a month. Okay, look at this. Woo! This is kindling, my friends. This is pine needles pine needles grab these pine needles and come with me so we'll throw the pine needles in here we'll make a nice little small little pile in the middle pine needles are everywhere okay if it's wet go under the trees the trees are what are dropping the pine needles the pine trees although look at this one these aren't the very long kind this one's like the christmas tree look at that What's this one's name? Because this is, is Spruce? Yeah, spruce Almighty. That's what we call it. And look at this one. Is this Spruce Almighty? It's just a baby. This is Spruce Almighty. Pine needles, pine cones, pine twigs. This is all beautiful, beautiful lighter fluid, okay? Let's take this to the fire. Alright folks, this is how you do it. This is the beginnings of a fire, okay? Okay, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Now we have the beginnings, the kindling, okay? But we don't want to light it just yet. Now we want to add a little bit of bigger twigs because this is a progression thing, okay? We want small to big to bigger to bigger, okay? We'll go back in our drawer pile over here. We'll grab some twigs. These are so dry. They're all gonna burn like crazy. I can just break them with my hand. We're going to build a little dome. And when you have your other firewood, you always want to have all your firewood ready. You gather your firewood before it gets dark, before dinner. You want to be doing it at night when you can't see anything. That's when you should already have everything ready. Okay, so here we go. Look at this pretty, pretty. That looks perfect. All right, and now watch. This is how I haven't added anything else here. Okay, this is just nature. This is dry and this is how easy it is. If you have to build it this way, you want to build it because it's science, okay people? Heat rises, light it around. Don't burn yourself, be careful. There you go, that's gonna do it, watch. That's all it takes. This is in a, you know, ideal scenario. Everything's dry. You got dry fuel available right next to you. It's it's so dry around you that you should actually be careful. You know, be very careful when you're having a fire. When you have all this fuel, then you realize it's all fuel. So, you know, don't light it all up. Okay, now we're gonna go a little larger. going keep going it's okay as long as you see as I'm building it I'm thinking I'm leaving areas where the wind or air can go through these bigger pieces they'll make us some some charcoal and then we'll be able to cook on them in a little bit all right let's let that simmer for a little bit Let's see what happens, okay? You can see we've got a nice fire. Just gotta burn down and make some charcoals. This is where you could put your sunglasses on, 
grab a cold one. Have a seat. That's all, folks. Away for dinner.